Good morning, Drum Major. Welcome to today's competition. Go ahead and call your band to attention, give an executed left face and a right face, and you may proceed in competition. Good luck. Drum Major, are you okay? What's going on drummies, it's Artie here. Today we are going to talk about vocal commands. Now vocal commands are one of the most fundamental skills that a drum major needs to know. The reason why drum majors need to know this is because they are essentially the leaders of their band and they have to convey and communicate with their band. Now every time when I teach a drum major and I have to teach them how to call vocal commands, they always end up going through this little stage of nervousness. I tell them go ahead and call your band to attention and they essentially do this. And I can understand they're super nervous, this is their first time having to belt a vocal command at the top of their lungs and sometimes they don't know how to do it and that's understandable. Hopefully this video will help you guys know how to call a vocal command and what to do when you need to use a vocal command. First of all, let's go over the basic construction of a vocal command. Every vocal command is comprised of two parts. You have your preparatory command and your command of execution. Your preparatory command is basically telling your band what you're going to do. For example, if you're calling your band to turn to the left, such as a left face, you're gonna call left face. Left is the preparatory command. Face is the command of execution. Upon the command of execution, your band or whoever you're calling the command to should start the movement on the next count. Here's an example. Band, ten, hop. Left, eight. Right, eight. As you can see, every command starts off with a preparatory command and ends with an execution. The execution basically tells the band when to execute the movement. In addition to calling vocal commands, it's very important that you remember that you need to call your commands in a specific way. You can't just go out there and scream the command at the top of your lungs. Well, I mean, I guess you can. but you're gonna end up looking like this, essentially. The common mistake that most beginner drum majors make is that when they call commands, they think they need to be as loud as possible and they need to belt their command as loud as possible. Now here's a basic clue how to help you maintain a perfect vocal command. You want to remember the three C's of vocal commands. Now these C's will coincide with your vocal command. You need to make sure that your vocal command is clear, controlled, and crisp. When I say that your vocal command needs to be clear, being loud is not enough. You can go out there and belt your command and scream your command as loud as you can. If the band or the judge doesn't understand a word you say, that might affect your performance. Don't just go out there and word vomit. And this also plays into step off commands. I've seen so many drum majors go out there and they will go out there and say their entire band's name and it just is this entire sentence of gobbledygook. The drum majors essentially think they can fit their entire band's name in a span of three counts, which is not possible to be clear. Which, it, I mean, yeah, it's cool that you're saying your entire band's name, but you're sacrificing the, co the communication for saying your band's name. There's no reason to go out there and scream, by the regimental band of the Queen's Guard, by the Sadar Quick March! The regimental band of the Queen's Guard! I mean, it's, I mean, like, you might feel cool saying it, but reality, do you really need to say it? The next C regarding a vocal command is control. You don't want to go out there and just scream your command. <laughs> Essentially, you want to be as loud as possible, but you want to maintain control over your voice. So when you hear someone say, say it from your chest, that's actually incorrect. Instead of using your chest and using your throat, which one, can damage your vocal cords, and two, can essentially make vocal commands sound very throaty or very 
um, screamy, use your diaphragm and push the air out. And finally, you want to make sure that your vocal commands are crisp. A lot of times, drum majors think that just because they are a British drum major, or if they are um, a British style drum major, that they can go ahead and emulate what the British bands do. Don't do that. I'm sorry. You really have to know the judging criteria of where you are performing. Because if you go out there and start using a different style of vocal command, it might affect your performance. So just to be on the safe side, make sure that your vocal commands are crisp. Make sure that you articulate your vocal commands. You want to make sure that you convey your vocal commands clear and crisp. In addition to crisp vocal commands, you want to make sure that it remains in tempo. Every time when you call a command, there is a certain cadence when you call your command. You can't really call your command and call it at your own cadence. Well, you can, you set the cadence, but you wanna make sure that your vocal commands fall into a specific cadence. The band needs to be able to fall into your cadence and you need to set that tempo. Finally, vocal commands are all about presence. Like I said, you need to be as loud as possible, but you also need to be controlled and crisp. When you go out on the parade route and step on the field, it sets a precedence for you as a performer and your band. If you are seen as the leader of this 300 piece marching band and you go out there sounding like a little mouse, it kind of sets the precedence for the performance later on. So, like I said, you need to be able to convey your presence through your voice. You have a voice, use it. That's it you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment on how you thought about this video. Do you guys use vocal commands and do you guys feel nervous when you use vocal commands? I know I felt nervous when I first started using vocal commands. Leave me a comment how you guys got over that whole nervousness with vocal command and just got to doing it. If you guys wanna follow me, I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at, at DM. And as always guys, keep marching, keep flourishing. I will catch you guys later.